castles. Everybody wants one. And now you can have one too because this is part two of my how to build an awesome castle tutorial. And I'm going to help you build this amazing construction. Just don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this part two of my epic castle building experience. We have already, in episode one, created some amazing bits of this castle, including working redstone portcullis that goes up and down at the touch of a button, and you can lock from the inside. We've made some really, really nice structure. If you've not seen it, I'm hoping I've done it right, there will be a link up in the corner of the video, and you can go and click and watch the first half of this one straight away i'll even wait i'll stand here and i'll wait for you to come back go and click it now go and have a watch and let me know what you think and you've come back that's great news if you've come back that means you like part one and you left a like on it which is absolutely amazing if you like this one make sure you leave a like on it too let's get on with some of this build we need to do a lot in this episode so this episode is all about the detailing so we are going to get an overhang on this wall first off this isn't going to be the top of the wall but it is going to be the bottom of the wall and we need to get an overhang the entire length of this wall so let's just do that now don't miss any gaps because we want to go all the way along we are going to create some gaps in it in a bit but let's get all the way along first and once we've done that we need to do the same on outside of all three of the other walls let's do that now So now we've done the outside, we need to do exactly the same thing, all four walls on the inside. Let's do that. So we've gone all the way along all of those walls. We're going to get now our stone bricks and we're going to put a set of stone bricks on the outside of the underside of those steps that we have just put on. So every step that we've got, you're going to stick a stone brick on the top of that and that's going to create a slightly wider walkway and it's going to start the upper end of our parapets as well don't go onto these yet we're going to just do the rest of the walls everything that's got an upside down step gets a block and yeah you've guessed it we're going to do exactly the same thing on the inside so all the walls now have started to get a rampart. So now we've got to get these towers going. So we're going to increase the height of the towers by three blocks, just three blocks. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're going to do that with all of the towers. So let's get on with that. And do the same with all three others. Now you've gone up three on all of those, we are going to put a kind of a block wall across the top of all of these gaps so that then leaves us with a kind of two height gap and we're going to fill out those to give us a two wide hole so we're going to do the same on the other side and the same on all of the others as well so let's get that onto every single tower so one two three one two three and one two across the top one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two across the top. And let's get it done with these other ones as well. Now get your stone brick slabs and we're gonna go around the top of these blocks here. And we're gonna come out and see where we've got one all the way around. So if we are against the wall at any point, we have to come out one. So like there and there, come out all the way around. And there so come out there and there all the way around come out there all the way around so we've got a step literally at every point of this circle that we've created in our tower so all the way around keep going and keep going and keep going and have we made it and that's the end you can see that we've done that there and then we just repeat that on all three other towers so you can see from the top there that our four towers are not exactly circular, if you can call anything a circular in Minecraft. It's got a kind of a pointy bit, almost square on the inside and rounded edge on the outside. That's deliberate, it's not a mistake, that's the way it's meant to be. So if yours looks like that, well done. The next thing to do is to get this tower even taller and we're going to put a block on every slab 
that you just put around the edge. Everyone gets one block, please. Make sure you do it on every single slab that you've got. Don't miss any, otherwise it will look a little bit odd. Get all the way around the edge. And you should end up with it looking very much like that and do that on all three of the others as well. And now what I want you to do is create in the middle of each edge here is create fences four wide so that's one two three four and two high on each side so four wide and two high in the middle of each one so create that on first one then two then three and four until you've got it on all of your towers and we're going to get the stone brick again and we're going to fill in the gaps at the sides of these fences so very simply one two three one two three one two one two one two just like that on all the way around these fences and what you've created there it's kind of a, a grated window almost a an arrowy shooty thing but it's a grated protective window in each one of your towers which is going to look awesome by the time we finished i know again it looks really blocky right now trust me when i say this build is going to look incredible once we have finished it just keep building up your walls on your towers until you've got them too high and once you've got all four of those towers done just like that we're going to put another row of stone brick all the way around the top of these fences now you need to be prepared that some of this stone brick is going to get replaced once we've finished playing with it but this is kind of the initial structure so as we can see the form of the castle before we really get some of the hardcore detail going into it and making it look really awesome and all the way around so we block in that fence over the top so each of your towers should look like that. Let's make sure you get all four of them just like that now. Once all four of your towers are done, your Minecraft castle should start to look just a little bit like this. We need to do just a little bit more to these towers and then we can start getting some real detail in here. So the next thing we're going to do is kind of change it up just a little bit. We're going to get our spruce fence. You don't have to use spruce, but I recommend you use the same wood for the fences that you've used here. Oh, can you see I've missed out a little block there? Look, let's get rid of that one. That won't do at all. So we are gonna put on the outer corner of each of these. So that's an outer corner, that's an outer corner. We are gonna put fence posts. So that's an outer corner, that's not, that's an inner corner. That's an outer corner. That's an outer corner, that is, that is, that is not. That is an outer corner. That's an outer corner. That is an outer corner and that is an outer corner so that should be all of the outer corners and we're going to make those too high so stack up fence posts too high on each of the outer corners now they should not join up if you've done it right none of these will join up they'll just be discrete posts sticking up in the air if you find any of them join up then you've done something wrong somewhere and you might want to backtrack just to check that you've not i don't know maybe stuck a block where you shouldn't have and as a result you've got a funny looking corner that shouldn't be there so there we are there and there and there until you've got blocks like that then get stairs of the same wood so i'm going to use again spruce wood stairs and stick them on top of those poles and then do a row of stairs facing out from the way that the wall is facing so this wall is facing towards me so these stairs should all be facing towards me very simple right okay so go like that and then this one here is facing this way so we're going to get stairs facing in like that. And then get slabs and put one slab on the back of each of the stairs. So there's a stair there and the top back you stick a slab like that. And then top back you stick a slab, a slab, oh, not there, a slab, a slab. Just like this. So one slab on the back of each set of stairs. Now some of these stairs obviously share a back so that will be a shared slab. That goes there. Slab, 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 slab. Then come out, slab, not one there, because that's not the back of a step. You see that? That's not the back of a step, that's just a slab. Another slab there, that is shared. Slab, not on the bottom, on the top, slab, slab. All the way along this row here. It's a nice, quite straight row, which is quite useful. All the way to the back, and then similarly, all the way along this nice straight row here, like that, until you get all the way around and you've got a slab along the back of every step. Then repeat that on all four of your towers. All four towers done, and we are gonna to start to basically build a nice kind of semi-pointy roof on top of these four towers. So to do that, we're gonna get a block in, so as it's dangling over the edge, and we're gonna literally build around a row with full block 
of this particular wood, whatever wood it was, you chose. Again, I've chosen spruce to do mine because I love the way it's nice and dark and looks really great against the stone. I'm going to go all the way around, back and back, right to the, the very end. Just like that. So you can see that's like that. And then we've got to start to, to begin to point it out. Now, remember this inside is a different shape ever so slightly to the outside in fact it's not entirely round at all but we do want to create the roof so as it becomes round so that's going to take a little bit more thought so how are we going to do that i wonder well what we need to do is we need to create the smallest shape i.e the bit where the shape comes in the most at one corner and you can see that is here where you've got two teeth we're going to need to try and recreate that as closely as possible as we can on the other sides now the way we're going to do that here we've got one tooth so that's going to come in one and two. So now we've got two teeth there. You can see that. It's not entirely central, but that doesn't matter. Here, we're going to do exactly the same. One and two. You can see there's like that. And then this one, we're going to have to come in three. One, two, and three. And you can see now we've got a regular shape that is more or less in the middle. And we're going to be able to justify why that's not quite in the middle when we do the rest of the build. So repeat that on all of your towers once you get there and we are going to start to build this up just a little bit further now so let's get spruce wood slab on the inside of each part but don't come in here you can see we're just reducing the size but we're not coming in there so I'm not putting one there okay so we're going around and round and round one in the corner there round and round and round one in the corner there round and round and round so that's quite quite easy and simple and then we get another block and we're gonna pull the block around this way and this time we are going to go into the center start to create a more traditional and more I guess more regular shape as we go up like that like that and then we're gonna see we just got that kind of that cross shape there if we look at that from this side it's a relatively not sharp we're not looking for a sharp point on this particular build it's a fairly gradual almost like a dome and then we're going to put one of those on each corner there and we're going to get our slab put a slab there 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 and there and we've created almost like a, a square there and then we're going to do nothing more complicated than stick one of those on like that can see we've got a nice dome there and we're going to get our fence we're going to build a fence three high on the top one two three and we're going to come back and do something with that in a moment we're also going to put more detail onto this roof but uh, at the moment we're just going to get that on all of the other towers so repeat that on all three of the other towers once all four of those roofs are done you are ready to make some texture let's get some texture onto these roofs just to make them a little bit more I don't know, a little bit less blocky and a little bit more roofy. We're going to get steps on this bottom rung here and we're going to stick them on parts two and three. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. So parts three and three from either end there. We're going to do here the same, but this is eight wide and not six wide. So we've got to go one, two, three, and then one, two. One, two, three. Can you see that's very even? Same on this side. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. And then this side again. This is six wide. So one, two three four five six you can see we've started to create just a little bit more texture we go one step up and we can stick right in the middle there on each side another stair like not like that like that and then on the top you can make a decision you can either put a step if you like the look of the step there like that it's completely up to you or if you prefer you can put a slab like that me personally I like the slab, but if you like the step, that is just as viable a choice as the slab could be. Now get more slabs. We're going to put the slabs around here just to graduate that roof a little bit more. So that looks far less blocky than it did just a moment ago already. But then we're going to get more slab here on either side, just on one of these steps here. Get another slab, whether it's the six side or the eight side, just get one slab either side of those steps to give yourself a little bit more space now if you want to put more slabs in than that you absolutely can it's entirely your choice i think personally that is enough 
but you do what you want to do really this is your build what you could do in fact this might be a nice idea is where you've got the step here you could just put a slab there perhaps because you've got a block on that side you've got a block here let's put a slab in there and a slab in there and a slab in there why not now how does that look actually to be fair i think that looks better why don't we go with that and repeat that on all three other towers so when you've done all four of those roofs they should look pretty cool actually they're not too pointy up so they don't look like they're wizards towers they're fairly slopey so they do look like roofs and they're well supported they create a nice open space and it changes the texture ever so slightly from the harshness of those walls and what we're going to do is we're going to get a flag on top of each one of these three high flag poles so to do that get your wall stick three on top of your flagpole there you can do whatever colors you want here i've just gone for three pretty random colors then i'm going to get my yellow i'm going to come out this way one two and i'm going to drop down one with that one and then my red i'm going to come out one with my red down like that and i'm how does that look and i'm going to come down like that you see so we've got an orange a yellow and a red flag pointing in that direction and <laughs> make sure when you get your flags onto your flagpoles they are all facing in the same direction and just to finish off the flagpole stick a fence on top of the bat and you've got a full-on flagpole waiting for the wind to blow it in the breeze let's get a flag on all four of these poles and there we've got all flags up on that flagpole no doubting which king is sitting in this particular castle because his flag is waving all facing the same direction as i say make sure they face in the same direction otherwise it will just look a little bit strange let's get a little bit more detailing onto these walls and we've got to get those crenellations along that parapet now it's just a flat wall when was the last time you saw a castle with a flat wall so this crenellated wall could not be more simple we are literally just going to use stairs so we're going to do stairs all the way along all facing the same way right along the edge Keep going until you get to the end. I'm not missed on there, have I? Yes, I have. I thought I had. Keep going right the way on to the end. So place that one in and make sure you put those bricks back. Otherwise, it's going to look a little bit strange. And you can see that makes an absolutely fantastic crenellation along that wall. Now, we're going to repeat that on all of the other walls. And once you've done that all the way around you've got some great crenellations on your walls do it again on the inside but make sure when you do it on the inside that your stairs are facing the same way as they are on that wall so for example there you can see that stair has got its back against the wall so that stair needs to be that way too so all the way along the inside walls as well once you've got those crenellations along both sides of the wall they do look great don't they we have got to try and just put a little bit more depth this looks too blocky for me along the top also looks too blocky for me along the bottom but we'll deal with the blockiness of the bottom in a minute so we want to take out the row of bricks that are underneath these and we're going to do upside down steps all the way along here and you can see as i back off that gives just a nice little texture there a little bit more depth that we can kind of grow a little bit more when we do some more detailing on the wall but let's get these all the way along all the walls on the outside and yep yeah, you have guessed it once you've done it all the way along the outside get it done all the way along the inside exactly the same it makes for a much more interesting wall so you can see here that the detail is starting to really mount up on this wall but it is still a little bit flat for my liking and we need to make it a little bit more interesting we're going to start with these struts now these struts are designed to give the wall extra strength but they're just a bit too angular for me so we're going to get some steps and we're going to make these just a little bit less kind of blocky and we're going to make them come out just a little bit more not that way around at the bottom there and there so that gives us kind of the, the width that we want and then we want to come out just one more so come out one two three on top of that get some more stone brick and then get stone brick either side of that and there as well and you've got a much nicer column I think than we had before now you can experiment a little bit more with that if you wanted to but I think that's enough just for now let's do the same on all of the others 
just like that and let's get it done on all of these and then we're going to work on just this wall before we duplicate it on either the other side or the other walls themselves now just given an idea of what a little bit of a different texture might look for one of these struts so I've done one of them completely in cobble just to let you see what the difference is like obviously with your um, texture pack it may look completely different but that's what it looks like on chroma hills which is this texture pack if you have a cobble strut rather than a stone brick strut personally for me I prefer the stone brick so I'm going to change this back but I just wanted to show you what it looked like so the four struts are there and now we're just going to add a little bit more detail because the wall just looks too flat so first off what I suggest we do is we come up above this gate one two blocks cut out those and cut out in again cut out in again and cut out the floor like that and we are going to create a um, kind of a an over the gate kind of portal I've not gone wide enough look at that there we go so an over the gate portal just like that so guard can maybe sit over this gate and check what is coming out from the back of the castle or the front of the castle depending on what side he is so to do that we simply stick that wood over there that gives a very nice kind of windowy type feel and what we can do underneath that is we can get some brick and make that into a nice shape like that we've already got a little bit of shape underneath it but let's go underneath it a little bit more one two three four so we've got quite a nice looking window there I'm pleased with that and then we also want to get just a little bit more texture into the wall itself now we can do this a number of ways uh, one way obviously is to create some what's effectively arrow slits so we get one two three that upside down that upside down like that that's one do another one in the middle here one two three out upside down like that that upside down like that leave a hole there and go along under this side and we're going to go one two three upside down upside down and one two three upside down upside down and we've got a little bit more texture there in the wall already and then if we get some nice mossy block we could maybe put some some moss texture into this if you wanted to this is just for demonstration so you can stick a bit of moss there you can do it really however you think it looks best you don't have to um, do it regularly it could be in fact really irregular if you want it probably would look even better if it was irregular like that so you get some moss on the corners there a little bit of moss there maybe that's bound to look mossy isn't it a little bit like that there we go, moss may be growing up this way. Now bear in mind that this is going to appear inside as well, so we may need to do something on the inside to make sure it doesn't look too strange. But actually, I think we can make this work really, really well. So let's get a little bit more moss on there and there. That looks very mossy now. Moss on the outside of that. And finally, let's get some moss going right in the corner here like that and I think that already starts to make this castle look just a little bit more textured a little bit nicer but what we're also going to do is we're going to get some cobblestone stairs and we're going to get a little bit random and this is entirely up to you as to whether or not you think this works but what I sometimes like to do with these kind of builds is just stick randomly kind of a little a step in upside down the right way around however you want to do it just to add a little bit of depth and texture into the build like that completely up to you where you put these or even if you put them in at all I actually don't recommend that you put them in at the edge there get that one out there come on Avermance what are you doing there what you meant to do was put it there there you go and just get a little bit more texture into this build and make it a little bit more interesting to look at you can see there just by doing that it creates kind of a worn effect maybe the distribution of those isn't absolutely brilliant but let's maybe put a couple of lower ones in there that's a bit better get one in there as well above that moss there you go and that's starting to look okay and then we can get some iron and we can put the iron into these windows here because again it gives you just a, a bit of a change of something to look at more than anything because uh, what the eye wants is variation it doesn't want the same thing over and over and over again and there we've got quite a nicely textured uh, wall I think and we've got some nice variation we've got a little bit of interest you can do it however you want and how I decided to do it was to add the textures here so we've put some really nice detail right along here using trapdoors 
put flat along the underside of that rail which looks absolutely fantastic we put added some stone fencing all the way along around the edges of the towers the towers have got windows in as well to make it a little bit more authentic with shutters the windows have got shutters on either side we've added a little bit more moss around these pillars as well and i think if you look at that from a distance you can see with the banners and i've just gone for white banners because i didn't want to put too much color on it because we've already got the colors on there now you could put the colors there on the banners i suppose it's quite possible i just chose not to entirely up to you and we've put some extra texture with the cobble upside down stairs around the underside of those towers as well and we have done that on the outside of all of the walls all the way around and you can see it looks really quite effective to do that all the way around just on the outside we've not done anything on the inside yet the inside is going to be textured very slightly differently because we've got to do it in a very slightly different way so that's how you have it and now you don't have to do it this way you can do your wall texturing however you like it's completely up to do it your castle it is up to you do it how you want now before we've done with this episode we're going to do a little bit inside and this bit is actually going to be very very simple on one side you need to decide which side you want it to be either that side wall or that side wall you're going to put in a set of steps now i'm going to choose this side wall and what it's going to mean is i'm going to have to take out or kind of merge in these kind of pillarsy bits here so we're not going to play with any of the pillars just yet because we're going to create these steps now i'm going to use cobble steps this is going to give a different texture so um, we're quite interested in making sure these textures are as I don't know, nice and integral as possible and we need to kind of select where along this wall we are going to have the steps come out now you don't want it in right in the middle you want it kind of a little bit along so i'm going to have the steps come out right here i'm going to open up a gap of two you can see there and two so that's not quite enough for us to be able to fit out so and one more so that is going to be our kind of entrance to the the parapet and we want to get steps there and there and we're going to have two wide steps all the way along and these are just going to come down along the edge like this until we've finished and then we're going to build out the block so the steps are there and at this point you've got a choice because what you can do you can either block that out so it's completely blocked which means that you're going to wipe out this pillar here or if you want you can use some cobblestone wall to create some support which is what i'm going to do because i just think it looks a little bit nicer to do it that way we don't have to lose this particular block then either it kind of links in nicely with the block there i think that looks quite nice and then we can do just more support as much as we want so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine i think that we get another block miss two another block miss two another block miss two so that puts one there one two one there one there one there and one there miss two one there one there one there, one there, one there, and one there. So that looks quite nice, actually. So we've got two gap, then one gap, and then two gap, and that makes for a really nice effect there. And behind here, you could probably do whatever you wanted. You can make that just a little bit more decorative, and we'll probably do that in a bit. What we're going to do now, however, is we're going to do some work on the support beams on the inside. And we're not going to make them as decorative as we did the last lot because it's in the inside and it's probably going to be slightly more kind of kept uh, than it would on the outside. So we're just going to put two blocks out. We're not going to do it on that one because that's in the way. We're going to come two blocks out there, two blocks out there, and we're going to do that on every single one. And there we have the internal walls. You'll notice we've not put as much detail on the internal walls as we did in the external. We've still got the, the underpinned crenellations there that we put on the outside. We've come out with the steps not as far. So we've just come sideways. We've not added anything coming out because we don't want to compromise the inside space. We're going to do something awesome with the inside of this. You can see fairly soon. And that goes all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. And with the stairs, what I've done is I've joined up the stairs using more stairs. And then I've also taken off one more piece of uh, the kind of barrier at the side there and gone along a little bit further with a little bit more cobble and put some fence in there just to act as a little bit extra protection for the person that is running up the stairs so they don't fall straight over the edge to their doom because that would be really bad. And that's the end of part two. We've put some awesome detail into this castle in this part and we are going to do something really brilliant 
with the inside of this castle in part three. Please don't miss it because you will regret it. You'll see the finished product or at least getting close to it in part three. If this goes to four parts, then it does. But right now, I'm planning one more part. Don't miss it. If you've enjoyed the video, please do smack that like button and make sure you join the subscription club because if you don't, you might miss the third part. You won't miss anything if you hit the sub button. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.